Hi, welcome. Marianne popping in on Wednesday, August 21st. Yes, it is that day. Weigh in, Weight Watcher Wednesday, meeting day. I did get up and go to my meeting. I got up early this morning, uh, around 4.30 to do the laundry. Did my mile on my little treadmill uh, because it is so hot. It's so hot right now. Right now it is 88 zero degrees in my apartment. I do not have air conditioning. I have the fan on. I'm a little nasally because I slept with the fan on all night last night. Generally, I wake up around midnight and turn it off so that I'm not sleeping with it all night because it stirs up allergies and things and sinus issues. Yep, yeah, but I don't have air conditioning, so I w it is hot. Um, it's too, I'm supposed to go to a concert tonight, but it's an outdoor concert, and I just don't feel like going, so I think I'm going to pass this one. I don't have a seat up front tonight. I just, it was just, I just bought it because if I thought if I had nothing better to do, I would just go over tonight, but uh, I don't feel like sitting out in the heat tonight because it's just not cooling off at night. So there you have that, but uh, so far today, it's like I don't have any appetite. All I had was my oatmeal. I, again, made my oatmeal before going to my meeting and put it in my little food thermos so that when I got home at 11 o'clock, I had breakfast. And then, so all I've had to eat today was my oatmeal uh, with some cocoa in it and a banana. And I had a sugar-free popsicle. Those are good. A good snack on a hot day, really. Um, cold fruit, cold watermelon, cold oranges, cold, you know, anything cold is just really good. Anything with water content is good. And, of course, I have my water here. I've been sipping water all day. <clears throat> it's the dry air got to me. Um, but anyway, uh, I feel great. I just don't feel good in my... Because of the what the fan did, but um, yeah, so I lost a three point two, three point two. I still have a three point eight to lose to get back to where I was on June twenty fifth. I was like one point something away from thirty pounds. Today I'm showing exactly twenty five pounds, and again they asked me, "Oh, did you get your twenty five pound uh, charm yet?" And again, I have to say, yeah, I have it. I got it here on my, my thing. <laughs> I think it's like the third time they asked me. I'm not going to lie and say, oh, I, you know, no, I didn't get it yet. Just, <laughs> I could just keep getting them right. <laughs> that's kind of sad to keep getting the 25 pounds. I want to get to the 30. So that's my next goal is get to the 30 pounds, which I've got five pounds to get there. Five pounds exactly. So I have... 3.8 to get back to where I was June 25th. So I got to work on that first and then we'll get to the five pounds to the third. Well, it's not five additional pounds on top of the 3.8. It's a total of five pounds. So there you have that. I didn't have a bad week. Um, I only had like one night where I was eating the Triscuits, you know, more than I should have. So I have, I didn't really go, I didn't use up my weeklies or anything. Um, so of course I showed a 3.2 pound loss. So yeah, <laughs> obviously. Um, and I tracked. I have a 14-day tracking streak, which is a coincidence because it's tracking this week. How to build a tracking routine. Now, where I got screwed up on the tracking routine is where they took the tracking off the website. Because I used to pre-track my day in the morning on my computer. I'm filming right now on my computer. I'm not using my phone or a high-powered camera. That's why it's not that great of a, you know... I'm just using my webcam on my computer. Uh, but I loved the tracking feature on the website because it was big and I could use my big keyboard and look things up a lot more seamlessly and just track, 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 track. So how to build a tracking routine. Pop quiz. Wow. What are three things you do every day without even thinking? Well, I hope we do these things. Maybe it's brushing your teeth, making the bed, or checking your email. I also take a shower. <laughs> to uh, reap the weight loss benefits of tracking, make it just another part of your routine. So how do you, how do you fit tracking into your routine? 
What are the types of uh, ways that you track? Now, the app's changed over time, and I think this changed to a different screen. Why? Let me go back to that. Okay. All right. So, like I said, I used to pre-track. Now, I pre-tracked before, actually, before I got to my meeting, my Fitbit put my mile in because I hit tracking when I went on the treadmill, and it put my... Um, I mean, I, I used my my Pixel Watch, so it automatically tracks my activity from there. That's why I'm not wearing my, I don't wear it all day long. I track my intentional things when I do a workout on my Conqueror thing. I have, um, but, so I already had activity tracks, so I already had 29 weeklies instead of 28 by the time I got to my meeting. Because that was the thing, is, um... Oh, before I get into this tracking, I started on August 13th. I I had to figure out a way to get back into things. And I think I mentioned it. Did I not mention it last week? I started a 30-day walk-a-mile-a-day challenge again. So, so far, I didn't technically miss one day. It's just that I didn't go out, and I got on the treadmill, and my hip was slipping and hurting. So... I did a point three miles. I couldn't. I couldn't get it to work. And then yesterday, I did it again, and it was hurting again. But I started really slow, and it it worked itself out. So, got that going. I think I don't have as big of a stride when I'm on the treadmill as I do when I'm out walking outside. I think that was tripping me up. But anyways, back to the tracking. Try this. Which tracking style makes it feel easier for you? Tracking an entire day's food at once or as you go. I like to do it as once, and then if I change my mind, I can switch it out. But now, since I can't do it on the computer, I'm doing this way. When you're saving often tracked foods and meals or tracking from scratch every time, I do the saved meals. Um, basically, if I just if you notice on the tracking, it has breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. If I click on breakfast or lunch, it shows my recents. And so I can track from my recents where they already have the points in there. And if I need to switch up an ingredient, I can do it right from there after I track it. I can swap it out. That's what I've been doing now. Also, tracking before, during, or after you eat. Uh, that I do sometimes. But mostly I'm trying to do the saved method where I just hit breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And try not to, when I'm scanning up to see how many points I have left, try not to remove any items because sometimes I'll hit remove somehow and that, that just drives me crazy. So what strategies, what strategies have worked well for you? Taking pictures of meals to track later. Yeah, if you're out to eat or something and you're, you know, you're out with your friends, you can just take a quick uh, picture of your food so you can track it later. Uh, I used to do that with my mom because she would forget that she ate already because she didn't have that hormone telling her that she was full or anything. It, it was out of whack. Um, so she would forget that she already ate. So uh, we would have to take a picture of what she ate so I could show her the picture. Yeah, this is what you had, Mom. <laughs> it worked out pretty well. That, that was a good strategy for that situation. So it can work for tracking too. Uh, tracking of certain times of the day. I like to pre-track. Uh, dinner's the questionable thing. I changed my mind. Uh, tonight, I'm not even having dinner because I didn't have lunch. Basically, it's already 4.11. Uh, so basically, I have some lettuce straining out in the sink. It's so hot. I'm just going to um, have a chicken sal a big chicken salad. You know, around when I'm done with this video, I'm going to put my salad together, watch a movie, and have my, have my big salad. So I'm not going to stay up that late to have another meal. Um, I might have a yogurt or a... And Nick's ice cream bar, those are only two points. Love those. Um, okay. Using the bar bar barcode scanner. I use the barcode scanner a lot because sometimes, you know, I can't um, get my exact measurements. So if I just use the serving off the box and I have the scanner, that works out really well. Especially for my still cut oats. Okay, using the quick add feature to guesstimate points. Yeah, that's that's easy. You can just... Put in your points on the quick uh, the quick um, add feature. If I know I'm going to have an eight point lunch, I can just put lunch eight points. And other that's I basically just do those. If I think of something else, I'll let you know. 
Using your answers, determine how you'll create a tracking routine. I'll track meals and snacks as I go, and I'll use the barcode scanner, so save favorites, and guesstimate points when needed. Oh, I guess that's a good idea. I'll set aside a few minutes after every meal. I think the first one, <laughs> I'm going to be a multitasker. Um, I can't set aside. I, I just, even though I'm not working right now, I have so much to do. And it's so hot. Um, I'm going to probably go to bed early and probably wake up around 3 in the morning and start doing some chores early in the morning like I did this morning. I, I mean, and I baked some chicken this morning before it got too hot, you know. So I just bake some. I bake, like, if I bake four chicken breasts, I can put a couple cooked ones in the freezer for later. So I don't have to do that every morning. So we talk a lot about tracking. And if you're new around here, uh, welcome. <laughs> Get ready to hear it a lot because the science is crystal clear. People who track more often lose more weight. Why? Tracking makes you aware of what and how much you're eating. And awareness is key to making small but meaningful changes. What's tricky? Tracking takes time and effort and we humans are more likely to do stuff that's easy. So a leaning into what makes tracking feel seamless for you helps you stick with it. Some other tracking hacks, set guidelines and reminders. For example, if you t track after every meal, open the app as soon as you clear your plate. Uh, for all at once trackers, try setting an alarm on your phone at a time that works for you. Forget perfection. Tracking consistently with fewer details is better than getting burned out trying to log every single bite, ingredient, and exact portion. <coughs> Excuse me. See what I mean? And I got the fan blowing on me right now because it's just too darn hot. I don't want to overheat. I'm staying hydrated, though. Excuse me. Hope I don't have boogers in my nose. Sharpening or creating habits around the most effective weight loss behaviors. Like... Like... <coughs> oh. oh, this is awful. I can't wait till it cools off. Oh, sorry. I like summer, but August and September can get miserable in here. I really need an air conditioner. My landlord's not going to put one in. But, uh, anyway. And I used to call him for to fix things when it was super hot, so then you would see how hot it is in here, but uh, that didn't work. <laughs> He's a really nice guy. Um, so he knows to come early in the morning now if he wants to fix anything, but I, I don't call him that often at all. He's a good landlord. Anyway, so sharpening or creating habits around the most effective weight loss behaviors, like tracking, helps pave the way to your goals. After all, we like things that are easy, right? A few focused goals feel easier and more doable than attempting to make over your whole routine. So we're not going to do a whole routine makeover. I just got to get into having a streak of tracking. I was tracking all the time when it was on the website, but, you know, they took that down, and that kind of bummed me out, but I'm not going to, no need to go over all that, because we all know. Sorry. Ah. At least I don't have to go to work. <laughs> but I do have a lot of work to do around here. So what ways do you like to track? Any tips or tricks you'd like to put in the comments? Feel free to do so below. Hit a like, a thumbs up, and I'll be here next week for my weigh-in. I plan on going. I don't think I'm getting sick. I'm pretty sure it was the fan. Um, but um, that's the way that is. Because uh, I don't have sore throat or any of those things. It's just, it's just from the fan. I do have a lot of dusting around here I'm sure it's picking up a lot of there's so much dust in this apartment it just I don't know why it's just, you can see it falling from the ceiling I have an air purifier but I never turn it on maybe I should turn that on tonight with the fan <laughs> That'll help. hey good idea you have the tools Marianne just like Weight Watchers I have the tools use the tools do the program success is that my fingertips right and at the end of my fork, I'm going to head out and make my salad because I am a little hungry. I'm not starving, but by the time I have my salad, salad made, I'm going to enjoy a movie. 
and have my salad. Just going to watch some Lifetime movies. Some, I've been watching old movies, and I've been really enjoying it. One of my favorite series is coming out with its season three on September 22nd. MGM Plus, it's called From. It's scary, but it's it's interesting. Like getting involved with all the characters and trying to figure out what the heck is going on. The makers of that show, Lost, uh, created this one. And uh, so I watched the first two seasons you know, while they were going, and I've been waiting for season three. I'm, I'm excited. September 22nd. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and I've been re-watching some episodes just to try to piece. I It's the, the kind of show where you miss things if you don't re-watch it. And when you re-watch it, you find out this. You find out that. So, anyway, back to Weight Watchers. Let's comment below. What? How do you track? What do you find useful? And share any ideas with anybody that you would like to share. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.